Yes, good afternoon, everyone. In the interest of time, and and if we're set, Mr. Seidman, uh, you know, I would like to uh, call this meeting to order. Uh, uh, this is uh, Mayor Signs, and, uh, and and this is the uh, Laredo Whip County Area uh, MPO. And uh, today's uh, the twentieth, uh, April the twentieth, twenty twenty, and it's one thirty one uh, p.m. p.m. And I welcome you all uh, to uh, uh, to this uh, meeting. Uh, uh, I could have roll call. I understand based on on the people that I see on on camera here that we do have a quorum. Is that correct, Mr. Sutton? That is correct. Uh, Vanessa, if you'd like to call the roll, we can get the official record. Sure. Mayor Pete Sines? Present. Present. Uh, Norma Nelly Bielma? I'm not hearing her. Did you hear some her? She's not on. Okay. Uh, Dr. Marta Martinez? Here. Uh, George Okel? He's not on. Uh, uh, Judge uh, Dano E. Tijrina? No? Uh, no Judge Gonzalez? Judge is here. Is he, I didn't hear him. Is he's, he there? He's muted, but he's here. He's there. Um, Jesse Judge Gonzalez? Moore. I'm muted. Yes, I'm, I'm here for whatever reason. My camera is disabled. I don't know if it's on, on y'all's end uh, because my option to to uh, turn on the camera doesn't let me. Okay. Um, John Galo? No. Uh, David M. Salazar? I'm here. For the record, we do have a quorum. Based on the fact that we do have a quorum, we proceed uh, forward. Uh, and uh, that, the next item is uh, citizen comments. Uh, uh, we've, we've been asking for questions. Uh, do we have anyone that, that uh, is prepared any statement for us, Mr. Seidman, before you can tell? There is a lag about 30 seconds from our live channel. If you can just leave it here for about that length of time, and we'll receive any calls for citizen's comment. We could also proceed, and if we receive any calls, we'll let you know. Okay, yeah, I think that, that's very suitable. I'm moving okay. on to the uh, first item, uh, it, and I don't have the agenda showing up on there my screen. Uh, uh, approval for the minutes uh, for the meeting held on February 18th and virtual special okay. meeting held on April 6th. Motion to approve. Okay, there's, yeah, and, uh, and, and there's a motion by Dr. Marta Martinez and seconded by who? By Commissioner Gonzalez. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, a discussion? None heard of the say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any opposed uh, by sound? None heard. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Uh, uh, the next item. next item, sir, is receive public <coughs> testimony and approved resolution number NPO 20. 20-04, adopting the proposed amendments of the 2019-2022 Transportation Improvement Program TIP. Um, Mr. Sullivan, no, we I'm received sure the public barriers. testimony, correct? Yes, we, we've, we've had the public comment period open since the last special meeting. So is it to close and introduce at this time? That's correct. Well, there's a question by Dr. Marta Martinez. Uh, to you, Mr. Seiden. Yes, sir. The, the, just the question is: There's an addition here. Is that different than last time? Mr. Yeah, we Stein? can't hear you. At least I can't hear you, uh, Mr. Stein. I think the distribution was the. These are the same that were introduced at our special meeting, and we can review those if you'd like to. I have them on slides if you want to review them. Uh, yes, sir. Would that be okay, Mayor, if you reviewed them one more time? Uh, yeah, yeah, unless I have they changed any, uh, Mr. Seidman? No, sir, they have not. Any comments, sir, that have come in? We have not received any comments as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I would caution everyone to, uh, yeah, we're stepping on each other, so. Uh, 
Uh, yes, sir, Mayor. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking because I'm going to make a motion to close and introduce, but I'm trying to make sure that we didn't get any public testimony or any comments um, before I make that decision. No, sir. To hear that question, Mr. Seidman, do we have any comments? Yes, I did. We have not received any additional. We have not received any comments. Okay, thank you very much. And Mayor, uh, right now, is there anybody on the line to give any comments with that 30 uh, second uh, delay? I don't hear any. Uh, do you see anyone attempting to come in, Mr. Steiden? If you wanna pause here for just 30 seconds and allow time, uh, then we'll wait to see if we receive any. And while we're waiting, uh, this is the process that we use for our planning commission. And it worked very well to have the public be able to call in for a phone. And um, so we're, we're following the same same format and process for all of our meetings. We've, we've been doing well. We, uh, we take calls throughout. We have a staff member that take those calls while they're muted and then they unmute themselves having prepared the speaker and, and then they um, have them ready to speak. So it's been working well. Presume there's no one uh, calling, uh, and, and I think 30 seconds have, have expired. Uh, shall we move on? Motion to approve, uh, to close and introduce public comments B1 through 7. It would be, it would, the motion would okay, be. The motion made by Dr. Marco Martinez. I'm sorry, can you read the motion? The it motion would, would, be, would be to close the public hearing and to approve. Okay, I'm sorry, close, motion to close and approve. B1 through seven. Commissioner Gonzalez, I'll, I'll second the motion. Okay, as, as heard from Dr. Marco Martinez, his motion and seconded by Commissioner Jesse Gonzalez. Uh, uh, call for the question, any discussion on that? Hearing none, I, I call for the question. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed uh, by sound? Any opposed by sound? Not heard. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, thank you. Uh, Next one, sir, is C. This is uh, this is Dr. Marta Martinez again for the record. Uh, receive public testimony and approve resolution number MPO 2020-05 adopting the proposed amendments of the 2020-2045 uh, Metropolitan Transportation Plan, MTP. Um, again, uh, my question, Mayor, if it's okay, if I, uh, have there been any, uh, public, any public testimony or any public comments on these? Well, and to, in case you are curious as well, there have not been any changes since we opened the public hearing. Thank you. And we have not received any public comment. So same thing, we'll wait 30 seconds, Mayor. Is that correct? Yes, we'll wait 30 seconds to see if, if we have any uh, comments coming in as, as we speak now. Hearing none, I'm assuming there's there's none coming uh, unless you all hear or see anything uh, different. Uh, and if that's the case, be sure to make your motion, Dr. Marco Martin. Yes, sir. Um, motion to close public testimony and approve resolution MPO 2020-05. That would be number 1A, correct? Or Vanessa? Uh, the just it it's sufficient to adopt the resolution. Okay, to adopt the resolution. Twenty twenty five. Commissioner. Commissioner Gonzalez. Okay, again, uh, the motion was made by Dr. Marta Martinez, seconded by Commissioner uh, Jesse Gonzalez. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Any aye. opposed by sounding off? Aye. Hearing 
no opposition. Uh, the motion carries unanimously. Thank you. The next. Sir, the next one is addition of a chapter on the congestion management process, CMP. The new chapter is intended to identify the eight step CMP process, the related project prioritization, uh, prioritization efforts, the specific CMP projects resulting from the process. Is there a presentation on this? Um, Oh, I'm sorry, I think I'm seeing something different, uh, Dr. Martinez. Is it Roman numeral 4D? Uh, is it a motion to consider the award of rejection of, of funding of three projects? Is that it? Uh, in my, in my uh, presentation, I accidentally skipped item number three, which is the, uh, or sorry. The one uh, read by Dr. Martinez. Actually, Dr. Dr. Martinez, the item that you just read is part of the previous item. It was already approved in that resolution. Yeah. Thank you. That, that's why I asked, was it just one or one and two? Um, uh, but if it's, it suffice, okay, I, I got it. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, that's that previous one was both. Okay, okay. so thank you. Item 4D is so to consider it's to consider the motion to consider the award or all reject the award or all of funding for three projects submitted for funding through the go ahead Mayor, we're having difficulty with your audio uh commissioner martinez's yeah, uh, it's, audio is it's very clear uh, funding for the laredo mpo transportation alternatives uh, set aside the ta program uh which is a million one hundred seventy six thousand in federal funds 20 percent mayor your your audio is coming in and out if i if i if i read this program uh, so, uh, can everybody hear me right now? And apparently, it, yes, it, it we can apply to the plum near three. Sure. So, D is a, a motion to consider the award or rejection of funding for three projects submitted for funding through the Laredo MPO's transportation plum. alternatives set aside TA program. Go ahead and read that. Yeah, for some reason I'm having audio. Okay. All right. So the three are Plum Mere Street Shared Use Path for 816,000, East Chacon Creek Hike and Bike Connector 160,000, and El Metro 88 Bus Stops and Bicycle Plazas Enhancement Project Phase 2 100,000. Uh, this requires a 20% match uh, in for 1,176,000 in federal funds. Is there a presentation on this, Mr. Uh, uh, Snyderman? I'm my sorry, uh, your audio is, is coming in and out. Mayor, we're having uh, difficulty hearing you. I, I see you've muted yourself. That's probably good. Uh, I asked last week for submissions on this. We didn't receive any, but I understand we have all the, uh, the those rep the representatives for these presentations on the line. So if you have any questions about these projects, they're here to answer them. Uh, on, a, on a roll, uh, Chairman, members of the committee, Ramon Chavez, City Engineer, we do have some presentations, uh, brief presentations that we can uh, show you uh, so you can understand the, the projects. One uh, point of uh, discussion, Kirby, real quick. The item reads uh, 1,176,000. Uh, the mat doesn't doesn't add, so I don't know if, I don't know if that's a technicality or a typo. No, it's not a typo. There's a 20% um, match. That's a match. So that's, yes, okay. There's not, that's not included. Okay, thank you. Then uh, if I can share my screen, I'll go uh, through them, if you wish. Well, perhaps we should ask first if the, yeah, commissioners yeah, have, um, if the commissioners have any questions rather than doing... Mr. Steinman. Mr. Steinman, Commissioner Gonzalez. Yeah, of course, we would like to see the presentations. Uh, but question, this is already... This comes from the past, right? We've seen this item before in the past. Um, that I remember the three projects, or is this something new coming up recently? No, oh, sir, you're correct. These you've seen these three projects before, and they went through the process of being reviewed by the technical committee and uh, and by a committee that we put together to well, motion to approve um, uh, and award the projects uh, as written here. Second, uh, just discussion, one more question. Has any of the amounts changed at all, or is it the same that, that we remember from last time? Vanessa, you can confirm, but these are the same. From the initial application, the amounts have not changed. 
That's correct. Okay, so, so de definitely I'll make a motion or, or second that motion for approval. Okay, we have a motion and, and seconded uh, discussion. The 20% is coming from where now, Mr. Sutton? As I understand, and I've asked this question, that 20% has not been allocated yet. It hasn't been, uh, I mean, the, the funds are there, they would come from the city, but they haven't, haven't been determined the source of those yet. Ms. San Miguel? The, the city has committed to them, but hasn't you know, determined a source. So they'll be coming from the city. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, good afternoon, Claudia Samiga with El Metro. In this particular project, the funds are coming from District Priority Funds from District 8, uh, so approved by uh, Council Member Bali. That, that is for you. That's for your project, Ms. San Miguel, but not for all, all three of them, correct? Oh, correct. Yeah, this is uh, specifically for the uh, El Metro project. Thank you. M Mr. Chairman, it's uh, John Porter with uh, Environment. And any, any... Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, John. Yes, uh, on at East Chacon Yes, go ahead, Mr. Porter. Yes, sir. On the East uh, Chacon Creek, that's coming from our uh, stormwater fund, the, the matching. Okay, and how about the Plum, Plum Mayor Street? Where's that coming from? Honorable Chairman, Mayor, Ramon Chavez, City Engineer. It is my understanding uh, it is from district party fund unless uh, city management that directs us otherwise. Thank you, Ramon. So in essence, uh, by our approval, obviously it's, it's subject to to these funds uh, being applied, correct? Uh, if, if they're not applied, uh, do we have a deadline here, Mr. Seidman? Uh, are we running against the uh, short fuse as far as we, we don't have making a this uh, happen or not? The only deadline we have is that these funds uh, from previous years need to be utilized. Uh, we're, we're pulling on three years of previous funds and two years of future, well, this current year and then one future year of funds. So there's no hard set deadline other than we need to spend the previous year's funds. One other comment I'll make is if you choose to, to receive public comment on this as well, you can put that number back on the screen. Um, so in the motion, we would have to- Public, public comment, comment by all means. This. Uh, I'm sorry, ahead, I didn't mean to interrupt you, sir. Mayor, I'm assuming, ahead, please. Uh, we didn't hear you very well, but if you want, if you can, you can continue to discuss, but if we can leave this up long enough for see if any of the public want to call in. If I, if I may, this is just the unit. Can you hear yes, me? We can hear you. Yes, just go ahead as we wait for the for any comments. Can you go back yes, to just go ahead, there, please. Kirby, please? Yes, sir. Um, you're off by 100,000. If you had the 816, 160, and 100, it says million 176. It should be a million 076. They all froze. Uh, sir, the uh, one I, I think that's six um, is the amount that's available, and uh, the million and 76 is what was requested. So there, there is a just. Um, they're not exactly the same because what was oh, requested. Oh, that's what's was available. That's what's being requested. Available. Thank you for that clarification, Vanessa. So we haven't heard anybody call in. Okay, we, we haven't received any no call ins. Uh, my question is as to the plum mirror, if it's coming from uh, uh, priority funds, uh, keep in mind things have significantly changed the, uh, and I think it's uh, council member from uh, Torres. I think uh, that's his uh, district. So it, it, somewhere, somehow, if, if we don't fund one with the other two, uh, uh, fall uh, 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 fall out, or, or can we uh, you know, fund two out of the three? I just didn't even that. because eight hundred thousand dollars is a tall order unless the uh, council member uh, 
and I'm not quite sure whether he may have the money. Uh, the, the entire 816,000. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, 20% of that. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, my understanding, Mayor, is that we will look at uh, these. So, anyway, uh, my question is that in the event that, that uh, we can't get to 20%, my understanding, Mayor, is that these projects will Going be evaluated in. individually as applications, and each project has, is required to have that 20% grant. So if one project was not able to get the 20% grant, it would not jeopardize the other two projects that were able to get a 20% match. Uh, Honorable Chairman, if I may, uh, Ramon Chavez, the engineer, the 20% uh, uh, match is 163,200 for both projects. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I want to a city engineer again. Uh, I just wanted to mention that the 20% uh, uh, match for both of these projects is 163,200. Okay, that's fine. But it, but we still need city council approval or at least uh, the. A council member told us, I want to say it's a district. Mayor, hadn't some of these already okay. been approved? So, so subject to that, I guess. Yeah, if, if I may, on, the go ahead. Council, go on, uh, maybe Mr. Chavez does. Yeah. Mayor, the city council already adopted a resolution that they would provide, that they, they would be responsible for that 20% match. And so that's already been done. Yeah, May. Mayor, this is Marta Martinez. My understanding is that um, that we had already passed this through council before, so um, and it was coming from district priority funds. Uh, at least that's my understanding of it. But each one of these should should be taken individually, uh, as far as the uh, application process. But we can just um, uh, accept them all and 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 pending the the funding, which had been already uh, allocated through city council. Okay, and if that's the case, then I'll call for the question. All those in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed by sending off? Uh, any opposed? None heard motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Okay. Next item. If, if we can have Dr. Martinez read this. Yeah, the next item I see it on the screen. It's E. E. So uh, I'll receive, uh, I'll read it. So um, E. Receive public testimony and approve a motion initiating a 20-day public review and comment period for the proposed draft of the 2021-2024 Transportation Improvement Program, TIP. If you'd like, I'll give a brief explanation. So the okay, TIP... So it's, it's a uh, public hearing? So go ahead and motion to open public hearing or public testimony. Okay, there's a motion. Is there a second? I'll be second. Okay, Mr. Rosanna. Okay, good. Second. A discussion? Not heard. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed by sending off? Any opposed? Not heard. Motion carries unanimously. Yes, this is a public hearing. Anyone wishing to speak for or against? For or against? For or against? And then we'll have, uh, we'll, we'll allocate some time here for yeah, anyone willing to. Call in and express their their, uh, their opinions uh, or views. Thank you. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Slide. Yes, while we're waiting for that 30 seconds, I'll just give a brief explanation. Just as we amended the previous tip, that that's the existing tip that we already have adopted, our transportation improvement program. We are have been in the process of updating our transportation improvement uh, program plan, and and that's what we're bringing to you so that you can and bring it to the public, allow them to make comment on it, and then adopt the new TIP, which has reviewed all of our all of our transportation improvement projects and and prioritizes them for for selection of funding at a future point. Just want to make sure that we've, we've spoken about the uh, extension of that uh, Cuatro Vientos, uh, so-called Loop 20, all the way down to uh, 83. Is that part of that tip? <clears throat> uh, Vanessa, could you speak to that? Um, I have a, a, a uh, spreadsheet that I can show uh, if you all want to see the projects that are listed. 
in each of the years, if that's if that's okay. Well, if you don't mind, uh, uh, since it, it's going to cover some, uh, uh, just to make sure that you know, unless the other members feel differently, but I think that's that's something that we've been talking about, and I think there's unison uh, in in the committee uh, to to start addressing you know that extension all the Absolutely. way down to, and I think Judge uh, and, and other Jesse uh, Gonzalez and Commissioner. Sure. Yeah. Right. Mayor. So, uh, yeah. absolutely, Mayor. We're all in agreement. If it's not there, we need to extend it. I think uh, the, the thought. Okay, yeah, I agree too. And I think, uh, Mr. Salazar, I think you, uh, from the standpoint of, of text thought, I think you, you've also, are also in agreement. That's my understanding, correct? That, that's correct, Mayor. I was, I was wondering if you could uh, repeat your question again uh, on this 20-day uh, public review comment period. Yes, uh, uh, there's there's a list of items, but one in particular that we've been uh, discussing for some time is the extension of the Cuatro Vientos, the uh, Loop 20, all the way from basically uh, 359 all the way to, to 83 uh, and and uh, uh, the terminus would be uh, somewhere there by by uh, uh, Rio Bravo uh, Ceniso area you know that that, 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 that overpass there it, it would end up somewhere in there right? and, and that's we're asking whether in fact it's, it's part of this 2021-2024 uh, TIP uh, program uh, just to make sure that we're we're uh, shooting for that. Uh, uh, and that's what we ask for money. Is, uh, is that your understanding as well, Mr. Salazar? Mayor, what we've done is we submitted that uh, extension of the Southern Extension of Loop 20 uh, for consideration into the UTP for 2020. We will not hear back on that decision until August of uh, 2020 of this year. Uh, it is not included in this 21 24, but it has been submitted for approval. And inclusion into the UTP. Okay, so in essence, it. Okay, so, so are we okay? I mean, if we're not missing out, if, if, if somebody somehow it doesn't get approved, can we still? Mayor, we Matt, can always amend this tip. Yes, go ahead. Sir, my, um, my question, sir, is if we submit but we don't get it, why not have it on this tip as a backup? Yeah. Okay. The, the, the Mr. Yeah, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, Mr. Salazar, we can hear you. Yes, go ahead, we can hear you. Yes, go ahead. Yes, so what we done, it, it can't be on the tip because it's not funded, uh, Mr. Martinez. All these projects on the 21-24 that we alluded to the 20 uh, public review time period are projects that are funded. This project the uh, that we are including, that we want to include in the southern, on the southern extension of Loop 20, is not a funded project for it. That's why it cannot be included in the TIP in the Transportation Improvement Program at this point. That does not necessarily mean that it cannot be added at a later time, but because it is not funded, it is not included in this in this TIP. Uh, Can we see a list of the projects? Can we see a list of the projects, please? Yes, Vanessa, are you able to pull that up and share your content? So, so, Mr. Can, Salazar, can Commissioner Gonzalez here. So, yes, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you. And as she does that, I think uh, Commissioner Gonzalez has a question. Uh, go ahead, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Just to see if we're on the same page. So, once we hear from it in August of this year, you're saying, Mr. Salazar, we can come back and amend this. this uh, this list right here and add it on there since the funding's already there. Yeah, that that, that is correct. It, hello, I'm having some feedback here. Hello? We can hear you. Okay, that is correct. We can always amend that that uh, tip, um, the four-year plan, we can always amend that. We do have that list of projects that uh, Mr. Gonzalez is online. We also have, we can review them, uh, but we certainly can, we certainly can. Now remember, we do have a set amount of funds that are available which requires additional funds and we can always look at that four-year tip and prioritize what projects we want to handle 
Uh, currently, the TIP project that we're submitting includes everything that we've been talking about as far as the extension of I-69. Uh, it includes the projects along the, the 59, 359 quarter. It includes the projects on 35. Uh, it includes uh, the projects that are coming from the World Trade Bridge, projects that we've been programming for the past couple of years. So those are included. Those are funded in that plan. Uh, currently, we can amend it. We can reprioritize. Uh, depending on the funding available, uh, oh. but that is the main reason that it is not included in this TIP program. What we're doing over the review period is we're trying to move forward so we can get all these projects led between now and uh, fiscal year 24. Oh. Can you scroll down? Okay, for any me, other please? questions? Uh, do we have any questions for Vanessa? Ms. Ms. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, um, if you see what I've done is I've separated the projects by year. So you see these are in 2021. What's scheduled to lead and is being put on the tip is the construction of the four inspection booths uh, at World Trade Bridge. You have the uh, 17 bus stops that is uh, to rehab and rehabilitate the 17 bus stops. Uh, that's the Las Cruces realignment project. Um, Fulton, Santa Maria, that's the railroad grade separation, and the River Vega Trail. Uh, those are the all, and you see here, the, this is the cost of the project. This is the funding categories that you'll see there, and these are the project sponsors. So those are all the projects that are being uh, proposed for inclusion in 2021. In 2022, we show a chart and, and, and the Ruthinger portion. You see there the city county and the, those are the, uh, the, what's being allocated to the project and those are the funding categories. In 2023, uh, you'll see uh, US 59 reconstruction, you know, the reconstruction of the existing six lanes uh, and they're gonna put in three uh, frontage roads and they're allocating $20 million to that. Uh, the next one in 2023 is reconstruction again of Loop 20. It's the next piece of it. Uh, and that's for 40,500,000. Uh, the next one in 2023 is the um, 359 widening. And it'll go from three to five lanes. And you should see the limits there. It's 4.6 4 miles east of Loop 20 to 8.9 miles east of Loop 20. That's for 18 million. And uh, that's another uh, 359 widening project in 2023. Um, you see the limits there for another 6 million. Uh, there's the US 59 interchange at Shiloh. So that's the construction of the interchange at Shiloh. And they're allocating 21,500,000 to that. Uh, and then there's the interchange at university, and there's the 16,850,000 being allocated there. And in 2024, we're showing uh, again reconstruction of US 59, reconstruction of the existing six lanes to propose six lanes freeway facility with three lane frontage road. Um, and this is going to be, what is it, at 0 0.4 miles north of airport to university. So it looks like that's the limit. And 30,600,000 is being proposed to be allocated there. Uh, direct connector number three. Again, this is 2024 we're looking at, uh, fiscal year 2024. So direct connector number three, and that's going to be located uh, 0.5 miles east of I-35 and 0.5 miles north of US-59. That's 35 million. The next one in 2024 is uh, the interchange of Jackman for 19,691,424. Uh, again, still in, in um, 2024, it's the bridge replacement at Uniroyal for 110 million. And finally, the last project is the interchange at the airport uh, for 12 million through 55,990. Total of 20 projects, uh, program 
Thank you, Ms. Guerra. Uh, you know, can I ask you, uh, is this full funding or does the city or the county need to uh, uh, prepare for any uh, cost share? Uh, uh, and if so, we need to know, uh, uh, the city needs to know to prepare uh, in the years in advance. Well, you, you can see that uh, Flecha, the Flecha Las Cruces realignment does have an earmark. Um, and there's also uh, matching funds that are required there, but those funds have been um, allocated or identified, I mean, a long time ago. Um, again, I don't know how that affects, you know, how it affects now, but the advanced funding agreements were signed many, many years ago on these projects. Colton and Santa Maria is also a city project. You see where you see there through yeah, your audio is not your audio is not very clear. Maybe we we should all mute our mics. Yeah, yeah. Would you repeat that, please? Would you repeat okay. the lesson? All the city projects that you see here in the first year, uh, you'll see that those projects are um, going to require uh, matching funds. Um, especially, you'll see this one, the Flecha Las Cruces, the Colton project, River Vega. Um, the, this transit project, and probably this uh, the inspection booth project. It's all going to require matching funds. Again, in this one also, the city and the county on Natura Ruthinger, um, probably going to need some funds there. Uh, Vanessa Tito, Mr. Tito Gonzalez wanted to add. Sure. Hello, members of the policy committee. Uh, Tito Gonzalez, for the record, uh, director of TPD for Textile and Rural District. Uh, just to clarify on the Textile sponsored projects, what you're seeing there, that is a fully funded construction project, as uh, Mr. Salazar mentioned. Those um, dollars have already been allocated to Textile through the UTP. So those are actually funded uh, construction dollars to go to construction. What you're seeing in the purple, can you, can you move up a little bit? Um, that is the, the combination of the existing money that we already had on I-69, uh, coupled with the, the $220 million that we received last UTP, last August. So that has allowed us now to combine um, I-69, or the, the expansion to future I-69, all the way from, uh, from Shiloh, all the way to university. We are going to be packaging that project as one as one project and working on three new interchanges at Shiloh, at Delmar, and at University. So that is what you're seeing with this in this step and reflecting it for a FY 2023 um, fiscal year, which right now they are being put in September of 2022. That is the first month of the fiscal year 2023 for Texas. If you so move down no to money is needed, yeah, yeah, to those three projects uh, that you mentioned, uh, there's no money required from the city nor the county. Is that correct? Correct. The, the only money that would be uh, required would be the, the right of way um, that would need to be acquired and any matches that may be there. But Vanessa, Kirby, you may be able to speak to that. Um, I know I 69 has a um, has some stipulations that are there as far regarding the right of way costs on, on I 69. I think the only point to make is, as Vanessa stated, that the where there is a local requirement, those those agreements that this plan outlines where those are coming from, and that those that those agreements have been made. So, you're right for something the city is is going to participate in. They want advance notice, and and that's exactly what this does. This whole process gives uh, many years advance notice, so those agreements can be made, and and the local matches can can be taken care of. And of course, and I say that because we all know uh, the impact uh, to our budgets that COVID has had. Uh, and, I, and I say that for the next two, three years, and who knows? Uh, so, Mr. Seidman, you know, just be cognizant of that and, and just, just uh, notice the council or, or when the budgets are established uh, uh, that these funds will be required. Then. So, yeah, and, and it's likely that current conditions will impact how much of these federal and state dollars are available since a significant portion of this funding is from our gas taxes, which are 
have in the short term seen a, a significant reduction as gas consumption, gasoline consumption has gone down the last month or two. So, so this is- But my understanding is that, yeah, these are fixed already. You know, these have been allocated. They're, they're in the bank somewhere, but uh, I hope so. Am I correct or, or is it subject to change still? Well, Mr. Salazar could probably provide a little more insight, but um, Ma Mayor, is a guarantee. Mayor, this is yes, David. I'm really having a hard time. I'm really having a hard yes, time. Yes, go ahead, here. please. I, I, think I, heard, I think I heard a gist of your question. For the most part, a good uh, rule of the thumb is that if these funds are allocated on a on system highway, uh, the match to the city is, is, is basically none. We cover the cost. Anything off system, there's a 20% match. Uh, but again, Mr. Snyman is correct in stating that on this US 69 project, the Loop 20 oh. project, uh, there is an agreement in place uh, with the city of uh, Laredo as far as the right of way acquisition that was uh, signed and agreed upon, I, I want to say August of 2017, um, which has already been uh, agreed again in an agreement between us and the city. Uh, any additional cost beyond that on this list, I think for the most part, uh, like Ms. Uh, Vanessa was stating, uh, has been agreed upon when it comes to the off-system um, projects that are that you guys are that the city is matching 20%. Um, but for the most part, these projects are funded. Uh, any additional cost on these on-system projects would be at the expense of tax dot. Uh, but we've done a great job with Tito and his staff in uh, estimating the construction uh, dollars on these projects, and we feel very confident uh, that we have a good handle on them. All we need to do now is get through this uh, review period move forward and start building some of these projects. Okay, so uh, so I think we understand. Uh, so, uh, uh, Mr. Salazar and, and Tito and of course, Mr. Seidman, you know, we'll depend heavily on you all to, to apprise council or county uh, if, if there's any additional money uh, due uh, to complete this project. Uh, hopefully not, but but for some, you know, you've stated that, that oh. we may need to uh, and if that's the case, we need to know uh, as soon as possible. Then. Thank you. You're welcome. And I believe you already took action on this. And so we're on to the next item. Okay, go ahead, please. A discussion of possible action on the uh, Chad Ruthinger. And I see uh, Mr. Luis Garcia. Uh, yeah. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Guillermo Coyar. I'm the assistant web county engineer. Just to give a brief update on the project, our consultant is finalizing the 100% schematic with comments provided by TechStot this past week. We are also getting our consultant to do to send the environmental assessment to TechStot for review, and that will happen uh, this afternoon. Once we get comments from TechStot, we will revise and finalize the environmental assessment. Uh, for further processing. So that's where we are with the county portion of that project. If my memory serves me uh, correct, uh, the issue of the issue of the, uh, the Ruthinger area, there are people uh, wanting to, to, to do something different on the right of way. Uh, that's been resolved. To do something different on the right of way. Uh, that's been resolved, has it, uh, Mr. Seidman, as far as you know? I think the trustee of the uh, chart people, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was the yeah, chart people. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, uh, there was, uh, and I forget his name. Uh, it escaped me at the time. Uh, but we had an issue of title there or something that that I could have, you know, could could impact on on you know, this thing moving forward. But I think it was resolved. Is, is that my understanding, Mr. Chavez? Would you be able to provide any insight or at least? Honorable Chairman, Mayor uh, Ramon Chavez, City Engineer, I'd have to confirm that, uh, Mayor, uh, and maybe discuss with management, see if there's been any additional discussion besides the presentations uh, Mr. Van Steenberg has made before the MPO. But we can definitely confirm that. Uh, we do have a meeting uh, coming up with TechStot next Thursday, uh, so we'll be able to provide more details after that. Okay, good. Please uh, do so because that, you know, obviously, that 
if it's an issue, uh, it's, it's got to get resolved before construction begins. Uh, thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, thank so, you. Uh, yeah, do we have any questions or concerns you know, on this item F with the HR roofing or uh, you know, other than those that presented? Um, Mayor, this is Hearing a non, uh, against the tech stock. No, you're welcome. Um, I just wanted to mention that on the, um, yes, go ahead, the, the, uh, the table that Vanessa put up, we are showing the HR Ruttinger project on there scheduled for FY 2022. So that is being referenced on this, on the tip on item E that was just approved. So we are coordinating with the city and the county uh, to make sure that the tech stop provides any guidance um, and oversight that we need to do in the process. So we are working together with the city and the county on that. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Wonsago. Uh, anything else on this? And if not, let's just move to the next item. Mayor, the next item we have three reports slash presentations. Uh, the first one is a status report on the ongoing active transportation plan. And this is one last time. Is that Council Member Allgold here at this time? Because I think he wants to hear this. Yeah, that was the comment I was going to make is he is not on. And so if, if he's not on, then I, I just, uh, I'd like to make a motion to table and roll this over to the next meeting so that Council Member Allgold can be part of the discussion for items A and B. If you don't mind, a uh, second for discussion, but if you don't mind, I think we've already done this twice because of him. So, you know, if it's second, it well, then uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Well, if, if, if it's second, it's a discussion. Mind. So, do we have a motion and judge a second? I don't mind withdrawing it and just tabling it completely. Um, he can put it on later. So, uh, I'll withdraw my motion, Mayor. Um, and if that's okay, I'll make a motion to table. Um, both items A and B. With so is the motion to table until until yeah uh, the motion and seconded by two. until yeah. Commissioner Alk is able to attend. So I just want I just want to reiterate a little bit just to get in a, I just want to reiterate uh, Robert's rules of order. I know we don't follow yeah. them or we don't we don't have them adopted, but we try to follow them. If whoever is whoever is tabling this item which I am seconding that table motion uh, is the only ones that can bring it back because this is the second time and then we're going to bring it back three times. That's not, that's not, all we're doing is wasting time. We're going in circles here. Okay, well, that's fine. If that's your understanding, Dr. Martinez. That's fine by me. I'll bring it back if I get told different, but this is a third so, time. Dr. Martinez, you make the motion and then just a second. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Yeah, no discussion. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Not uh, Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, any opposed? Not heard. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Uh, we're item C now. The status report by the by the RMA. Yes, the RMA the RMA provided an update uh, today, and. Uh, on the short notice, we weren't able to get it into the packet. However, we're going to email that out to all the members so that you'll get a copy. Okay, wonderful. Uh, uh, at, at some point, maybe you can, and, and we can all reach out to uh, the current chair. Uh, uh, and maybe at some point, he can, you know, he can come on and, and uh, so we can meet him formally here at the end. At this NPO, uh, committee meeting. Uh, That's a good suggestion. Okay, then, uh, do we have any other business? Motion to adjourn. Okay. Is there a motion that we adjourn? Motion to adjourn, Mayor. Second. So there's a motion to second as I heard and presented. Uh, discussion and heard. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, sound off. By saying no, uh, not heard. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for for joining us. Uh, uh, and we'll our next meeting is is when, Mr. Seidman? I guess uh, a month from now, third Monday of next month.